Right guys, okay, so we've refueled and um, we're gonna make our way back inshallah um, anytime soon, literally now. So we did a little bit of like endless sort of driving, like wandering. So let's let's forget that for a second, but it's cost us uh, 5,000 rupees in a 660 cc car to get to Naran. And that's like driving it quite aggressively. So if we were driving a bit more smoother, a bit more calmer, perhaps it could have cost us about 42, 43. But 5,000 rupees and we nailed it. So what we're gonna do now, inshallah, we're gonna make our way back to uh, Atuk now. And um, I'm not gonna refuel there, but you get a brief idea of what it costs. Now in terms of the cost of fuel, uh, in Atuk it's 260 a litre. I was charged 268 a litre here. So it works out at about 44 uh, in terms of uh, costs. So if this was at 260, uh, it would have been around 4,800 uh, and then minus the wandering around about 45, 4,600 rupees there uh, one way. So return is just short of 10,000 rupees. And that's making a couple of stops and uh, just chilling on the way. So when we go back, so when we when we travel back to Atuk, uh, we're not going to rag the car. We're going to drive a little bit calmer, yeah. Yes. And uh, just kind of absorb what we see, inshallah. And we're quite happy with it. So we think we did okay. Um, we checked our tire pressure. We made sure everything was optimal. And what I've also done um, while I'm driving in Pakistan, we bought some glass cleaner. Yeah? yeah and what we found with that is uh, that helps you tremendously now what you must remember in Pakistan the water is uh, uh, unfiltered so do you know like when you wash your car you get the marks in your car well you get them instantly on your windscreen so what I did for 250 rupees which is about 80 pence I bought some window cleaner uh, like windowing and um, no issues I've just used it now on the window and that window is very, very clear. And hopefully, inshallah, uh, that should see me through back to Atuk. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And uh, what we'll do, inshallah, uh, we'll let you know how we got back to Atuk. And in the meantime, we'll give you uh, a photogenic sort of opinion. Allah, this guy, thank you for watching.